I don't know what's up with this dog. That's the most interesting thing I've seen all day. Good morning. I'm in Athens, Greece this morning. Yesterday I went to the Acropolis and today I'm going to go meet with my friend Nicole. Her husband Andrew is running the Athens Marathon today so it's just the two of us and we're going to go explore the city instead of running the marathon. So we're going to do a walk uh, with an audio guide uh, through this area. She found this MP3 guide, a self-guided tour. Uh, to walk around the central area down here in Athens. So I'm going to go meet her and uh, that's the plan for the day. I don't remember if I mentioned but it seems like there's a pretty bad problem with graffiti here everywhere all the way up and down almost any surface even on uh, the glass of businesses uh, on all the metal slide ups, the security doors, the pillars here, the walls. Um, it's just everywhere in Athens just quite uh, overwhelming and personally I love street art but I'm not a fan of tagging and just random scrawls of graffiti it's not something that I find attractive or appealing but that's just me and my subjective opinion Good morning. I found my friend Nicole and we're about to start our audio tour of the downtown area of Athens. What is the name of the tour? Rick, Rick, Rick Steve. Rick Steve. So Nicole found this. I don't know. How did you find Rick Steve? Do you just do a search on the other one? Yeah, kind of. You know, he writes a whole bunch of travel books and stuff. Okay. I had never heard of this before, but it's an excellent idea. It's really cool. Um, it's like an audio guided tour of prominent uh, places. I, I'm going to have to look into it. Once I have a phone again, this will even be better. Anyway, we're going to start our tour and walk around and I guess see the downtown area. a lot of DHL trucks. These are the guards of the Unknown Soldier's Tomb and they have a changing of the guard here every hour. I love the outfits. This is the little church of Kabna Korea. I hope I pronounced that right. This is the Arch of Hadrian and opposite is the Temple of Zeus which was quite a bit bigger than the Parthenon. It's absolutely huge with these tall, tall columns back here and it stretched all the way across this field. It's really, really impressive. bit narrow going through these little walkways we're following signs to the Acropolis through this uh, neighborhood this is probably the narrowest uh, main pedestrian walkway that I've ever been on tour ended here under Monastraki Square which is a uh, metro station for the, um, for the subway that goes underneath the city and underneath the station here they have an excavation of Roman ruins and so there's an explanation over here on this large sign on the side explaining exactly what all these walls and, and 
the little archway and everything and describing exactly what's here. But it's really fascinating and I like to see that they're trying to recover some of this underneath the modern city. Finished the city walk, the audio tour with uh, my friend Nicole and we had a quick lunch by to eat. I'm headed back to the hostel now to take a nap. I had a nice long nap this afternoon and got some work done online, edited another video which is uploading right now, headed out to go meet uh, Andrew and Nicole. I think we're going to have some dinner together and hang out this evening and just socialize and catch up. Tomorrow will be our last day together and we're all leaving on Tuesday. Finished a really good dinner with Andrew and Nicole and then we hung out on their terrace, their hotel. I'm headed back to my hostel now. I think that's all I have for tonight. So remember, saving the moment, be happy, pursue your passions. See you next episode.